everybody, it's Gail the Happy Stamper. Hope you're having a good weekend. Just wanted to share with you a couple of things I picked up and um, a Mother's Day gift that I got. I'm so excited. So the AC Moore near me went out of business, but there's another one that's really far away. And they are carrying the My Mind's Eye. These are the 6x6 pads. And I just love the yellows and the blues. I seem to be leaning towards those colors for summer. Not quite sure why, but a bunch of clothes that I bought were these colors too. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I know a couple of people have been asking about them and where you can pick them up. And my AC Moore and also Michael's has those. I just picked this up. Everybody has seen this, but I got these to go with, I thought they'd be cute for summertime. If I can flip it for you cute. Everybody has seen it, but I got that to go with some really cute stamps that I got, so I'll show you that in a minute, too. And then I got this new Cricut cartridge, which I just love, Pack Your Bag. So if you haven't seen all the really cute images on it for summertime and vacation and whatnot, definitely check it out. It's adorable. Super cute, or cute. And then I also got Summer Celebration, and these were on sale at AC Moore, so I snatched a few of those, and um, I'm going to be using these. This is going to be perfect for our Easter vacation at Bush Gardens, and my husband and the kids went on these roller coaster rides, so that's what really got me, but there's tons of cute stuff on here. Okay, then they also had, and I just grabbed a couple of these because I've put a lot of stuff away, but they had these really cute titles on sale also. These were marked down to $250. They are by Karen Foster. It's called Stacked Statement. This obviously says New York. So I picked that up, and I also picked up one that says Autumn, and it's really cute. It's got a rake and some leaves and a cute little scarecrow but they have them for everything spring summer swimming all sorts of cute stuff i did get some more but i just wanted to show you these because i'm going to put those away now um, but they were cute so check them out they were on sale again for 250 at ac moore and then da 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 i got well this is my second greeting farm stamp um, my first one I got from the lovely She is Shoe Princess on YouTube. Hi, Bridget. She sent me one. Oh, my gosh. It must have been like a year ago or so. And I loved it. And I use it. And I color with it. And then I got my Mother's Day gift. And I'm like, oh, I need some more. So I got the one that is called Miss Anya Bag. And she's got the cutest little purses which I totally have a thing for purses. I'm a Vera Bradley nut, and um, I just, I change my purse, not every day, but at least every season. I do do that. So this is really cute. I can't wait to color with that. And then another one that I had been looking for, and thank you to everybody who is helping me find these, are the gorgeous stamps. So I got this one, which is called Last Rose. And they look kind of dark, but again, I got this light-colored blue and yellow. You can just change it up to make it, you know, look summery or whatever it is your season that you're in. So I'm super excited. You do have to cut these. They come just square, um, and then I just cut around it, but I can't wait to use that. And then I got Rainy Days. Look how cute she is. Is she not adorable? I love these. Super cute. Yes. And then I got the Lost Heart. And I think there's a little heart. Yep, a little heart comes inside. So I got that one. I've been coloring. And then I got this one, which is the Pretend Friend. Isn't she sweet? Super cute. So I've been cut pr coloring, practicing coloring. And this one is, where is she? Pretend friend. This is the little girl, pretend friend. And um, I am just learning how to do Copic coloring, but I have to tell you, I am loving it. And I love the way you can get like the natural shading, you know, of clothes and hair and all sorts of stuff. So um, 
you know, if anybody has any tips, let me know because this is like my, this was my first try at coloring with Copics. And, um, you know, it's definitely something you have to figure out for yourself. So anyways, I'm going to try to put that on a card. Her cheeks and her hair bled a little bit, so I'm not sure if I'm really going to send it to anyone, but I'm really happy with how her dress turned out. That that really looks like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> and then from the greeting farm, Anna's, Miss Anya's bags, I did this one. And she is this little girl. This little cutie pie. So I did that. And again, it's really fun, you guys. I could color for, you know, hours but it was really fun I had a good time and I was quite pleased you know this came out okay too and I even did you know that shading um, that I've seen people talk about so that was that and then I got this stamp set I got this last summer and it's called Laura Lee Designs I got this last summer or the summer before when I went to the CK convention and it's just this incredible, she reminds me of Lucy, um, you know, with the big hips and the big hair and the her sweet face. And it comes with a bunch of other stamps in it, too. Um, you can change your bow, give her a purse. There's a bunch of other stamps that come in it. But this is, again, called Laura Lee Designs. And I got this at a craft show. So I thought I would share with you the cute little card I made. Ta-da! Isn't she fun? I love her. She reminds me of my old, oh my gosh, best friend from high school who is from Long Island, New York. And oh my gosh, it's kind of funny that now we live out here. But I did some paper piecing. I paper pieced her little skirt. And I used the paper from, this is another, it's called Fine and Dandy. It's the My Mind's Eye. This is that six by six pad that they're carrying now. So I just did some paper piecing and, you know, I colored her eyes blue and I added some pearls. I don't know if you can see, but I added pearls to her necklace, her earrings, her little hat, and then of course to her little shoes. And that's just what the inside looks like. So that was using, I really like these and it's called Laura Lee Designs. You can find them at Laura Lee designs.com and I've got another one that I'm going to try but I really had fun coloring this I'm really digging that so let me show you what my Mother's Day gift was hang on this might be a bit of a rocky move here da, 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 da. I got Copics OMG you guys I am so excited I got um, I only have two sets, but I'm, I'm thoroughly pleased. I got set A. I bought that myself. I had been, you know, looking for a long time and doing price pricing and whatnot. And, um, so I bought the set A and then my husband and the kids, I have them stacked on top of each other here. My husband and the kids got me set B for Mother's Day. So I am just in heaven, absolute heaven. I may reorganize it a little bit and put, you know, light colors the same. And then I got this just on eBay, I think. And it's just the skin tones one. It's okay. And then I just had a few spare ones that, um, you know, I've picked up here and there to do skin. So... That was my really awesome Mother's Day gift. I'm so excited and I'm having a great time coloring and using all my stamps and all that kind of good stuff. But I'm super excited to try some new ones that I don't typically use, which are these gorgeous ones, the Laura Lee and the Greeting Farm. So look for some videos using that stuff. And as always, I'll have some Stampin' Up! videos and we'll just change things up. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by and visiting the Happy Stamper. Ciao.